This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Do you know the warning signs of heart failure? We're finding out. And learning about the Rise Above Heart Failure social media campaign. The American Heart Association wants to encourage you to rise above heart failure and share a hearty. Here to tell us more about the campaign is Dr. Lynn Braun, a professor at the Rush University College of Nursing. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, everyone loves social media and to share things on social media. And who doesn't love the heart, right? The heart, <laughs> exactly. So tell me about the campaign, when we share it, what is to do. Well, first of all, the campaign is a national campaign by the American Heart Association to improve awareness and education and uh, understanding about heart failure because it's an often very misunderstood problem. It's very common. There are um, almost six million individuals living with heart failure today. And unfortunately, heart failure is often equated with having a heart attack or when the heart stops beating. But in fact, that's not the case at all. Heart failure means means that the heart has weakened as a pump and it's unable to pump enough blood to meet the demands of the body. Or sometimes it's too stiff to filling, to filling with blood. And patients develop symptoms such as shortness of breath, fluid retention, fatigue, even an elevated heart rate. So many people don't really understand what this is about. And the campaign is really to change the course of heart failure, awareness, and understanding so that the American public knows about it in order to prevent it, engage in lifestyle changes to prevent it, and those living with heart failure and the people who help take care of them can understand what's necessary to live a good quality of life. We want to empower our patients to engage in their care along with their health care provider to be able to identify symptoms of heart failure, to know when they need to contact their health care team, and to engage in appropriate self-management strategies such as a heart healthy diet weighing themselves every day and calling their health care provider when they're they might be getting into trouble you know there are over a million heart failure hospitalizations annually in this country so it's very expensive for the heart um, for the health care system and the goal of this campaign by the Heart Association is to reduce hospital admissions due to heart failure by 10 percent over the next year and then awareness and understanding of heart failure among the American public by 10% over that same time period. I think in the media we have been informing people about heart disease being a, a top killer of men and, and women. women. And mm -hmm. often women get overlooked in that because right. it was the number one killer of men for so long. But what is it about heart failure that is different and some of the precursors that maybe mm -hmm. people could catch before sure. it develops into true heart failure? Sure. First of all, the risk factors that we well know um, related to coronary artery disease are the same risk factors for heart failure. So uncontrolled high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, smoking, having diabetes, obesity, and physical activity are important. But in particular with heart failure, uncontrolled high blood pressure is important. Um, having a heart attack can be a cause of heart failure, but it's not equated with heart failure. Failure. Sometimes people have heart valve problems that can lead to heart failure. Sometimes people have arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation, which is an irregular heartbeat. When that's not not controlled through various therapies, including medications, that can also lead to heart failure. So there are many precursors, and it's important that people recognize whether or not they're having symptoms, such as an elevated heart rate or palpitations, um, whether or not they are retaining fluid, whether or not they're having shortness of breath or extreme fatigue, that they seek um, help in, with the healthcare system. And if they are experiencing some of those those symptoms. Is there a test or something that can be done to say, yes, you have heart failure? Absolutely. An echocardiogram is, is probably our first go-to test. Uh, and then other tests, an echocardiogram is an ultrasound of the heart. And it shows structural changes as well as how well the heart muscle pumps. Um, whether or not the ejection fraction, which is a quantification of the output of the heart, is normal or not. And then based on that test, if heart failure is shown based on that test, 
A person may have other tests to try and find the cause of that heart failure, such as an angiogram to see if a person has coronary artery disease or has had a heart attack. But the key is to start getting help, and first we have to let people know about it, and that's why the campaign. If we you, do. If you want more information about that campaign, you can visit riseabovehf.org, and don't forget to share your hearty. And one more piece of information is the, um, is the patient support network, because people with heart failure and their caregivers can connect with one another on the patient support network as well. And they can, be, they can access it via the website that you, that you mentioned. Thank you. Mm -hmm.